Welcome back to another figure review. In this review, we're going to look at Hasbro Star Wars Vintage Collection Rogue One K2SO. In the top left here, we have ages 4 and up. On the right, there's some warning signs. We have Star Wars logo, Rogue One in the middle, and K2SO's nameplate there in the center, just above the bubble. On the right side, you have some artwork of K2SO on the bottom. You have the Kenner logo. On the left is K2SO inside the bubble. It's a very nice sculpt. Comes with a pistol. The back of the package, top right, this is VC170. In the middle of the card, so some product offering offerings from for the other figures that are available. The vintage logo, product information, legal information, UPC, some warnings, Disney and Hasbro logo on the bottom right. Alright. Let's take a look at him. Here is a small insert in the bottom of the bubble. Just a bunch of legal information, some safety warnings. Nothing worth keeping, in my opinion. So pop out these little tabs. Back. Get him out of there. He has a little pistol which is taped in. I don't like tape on weapons. I know it's got to use something to hold them in, but sometimes the accessories get sticky. This is his blaster that he uses in the movie. Shoot the stormtroopers. Here's K2SO. It's actually a very tall figure. Head goes 360. Shoulders, arms do not raise on the sides, but they get all the way around. It looks like it may have been in more elbows. They're not bending, but there's definitely a joint there. Maybe painted. Wow. Yeah, I'm not going to force it. But it looks like there is a joint there for that to turn. Maybe I have to heat it up to some hair dryer for like three to five seconds to break that paint. I'm not sure why that's not working. I don't want to break the figure. Um, there's some articulation here. We'll spin 360 if you desire. His legs will go into a seating position. And it looks like the knees should bend. And again, I'm putting some serious force on this joints and I'm getting nothing. No. Wow. And also his feet. Looks like there's joints there, but again, not functioning.
It's very nice sculpt. Some nice paint abs. Some silver on his arms, silver on his knees and ankles and elbows and wrists. That foot looks like it's tucked into really no way there's no way to fix it. Side of the figure. Lego on his shoulder or the top of his arm. Back of the figure. There go on his arm on the other side, or just like the other side. He has his antennas done in a soft plastic. Some silver detailing right there. Pick holes on the bottom of his feet. Oh, that's interesting. I don't currently have a hair dryer with me to try the heat it to see if they do bend his elbows and knees and ankles and also maybe even the wrist bends. But they seem all to have the same amount of either tension or they just don't function. I really hope they do have the articulation because this figure be no better than the, the first version that came out. Stands pretty good. Here he is with the power droid. And here he is next to Lando. Let's see how tall he is. Here he is, just for fun. And I'll do you it. A nice droid comparison. Some final close up shots of the figure. All right, I'm about to see if this joint's actually all functional or not. If so, I'll leave a comment below and let you know if they do function. Let's take a look real quick before we go. See if you hold this pistol. Yeah, he has a trigger finger and it goes right into the the trigger guard. It looks so much better if those elbows actually do bend. Head is also on a ball joint. Look down and up. Oh, 
Okay. That will be your vintage K2SO 1810 scale action figure. If you like these videos, please subscribe. And thank you for watching.